what's up guys it's ios nemesis and welcome to another video so in this video we are going to be changing the serial number of an iphone 7 plus using brookram disk pro on mac os so my device is icloud log so when i try to activate you can see it will tell me to, to enter apple id and then password which i do not know so i'll try bypassing this with brookram disk and then with program this due to the apple patch i will not be able to generate activation files so let's first of all download program this go to ios services then click on the download button it should bring you to media fire page once you are there if you are using windows click on windows if you're using mac click on mac then download and install i've already installed so i'm not going to bother and install it again so once you're done launch program this pro if you already have an account type it in and then uh, if you do not you can create one or you can skip it so you can create one or you can just skip the account section so once you are here go to options and then we are going to um, generate activation files so go back click on start it should tell you that you need to register your device so ecid so generator activation files are actually paid but um change serial number is free so copy your ecid and then inbox me your telegram or whatsapp to register your device so the registration is done i'll click on start it should bring me to this page to generate activation files so when i click so it should tell me to consider changing serial number because this is due to the apple part so this is the focus of this video we are going to be changing serial number with book from this pro on mac so click on change serial number click on back and click on start click on next to put your device into um recovery mode great so follow the instructions and click on start to put your device into the dfu mode Great, so once your device is in BFU mode, click on boot purple. So, boot from this latest version, we, we actually have a problem uh, auto downloading uh, boot file. So, if you have this problem, I'll show you how to download it manually. So, just wait, and then you see an error saying that it couldn't download boot file. Okay, so you can see that you can download this file for your device. So you yeah, have to um, download it manually. Okay, so click on OK and then just click on that button. It should take you to the page where you're going to download it. Or just click on that and then see your device ID. Oh, sorry, device type. Okay, so once you see your device type, go to your browser and then where you download the RAM disk, go into the um, sorry, the RAM disk page, the RAM disk sections, go to RAM disk sections, and scroll down until you see purple. Once you see purple, just scroll down until you see your device type. So, my device type is iPhone 9.4, so I will download iPhone 9.4. So, just click on it. So, if this window pop up, just close it and it should start the download. So, copy this. So once you're here, just copy it. If you're on Mac, you know, go into the documents folder, book on this, and then the boots. So paste it into the boot folder. This is where you paste all boot files. So paste it here, and then go back to your book on this. Go to option, make sure that you change your number is selected. Go back, click on boot i device. So you can see that it's not giving the arrow again, and it's booting straight. So it will exploit the device with Gasta. And then once that once it is done, it will boot the device into purple mode. Right, so it's decompressing the boot file. Right, so this is where it starts booting your device. You should see your device disconnect and connect again, and it should tell you that your device is in purple mode, and then your device screen should be in a colored form. Click on next 
and you can see there is no um, selection there so click on refresh and you see um, your device serial pop, pops up select it and click on change serial number yes and then your device should reboot so just wait for your device to reboot and then reconnect to the computer okay, so click on done let's wait for both of this to detect the device in normal mode great so the device is now in normal mode Okay, so you can see the serial number has been changed to the default serial number of program disk. Great, so once you see that, you can go to options, click on generate activation ticket back, and then click on start. Once you're here, just click on generate activation tickets, and you see the process is going through, and then the ticket has been successfully generated. So that is how you generate activation ticket program disk through the latest version after the apple part so if you like the video make sure that you subscribe to the channel and then like the video and leave a comment under the video bye bye